Hi Scorpio, welcome to your general reading for the second half of August. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome, welcome. If you're returning, thank you so much for coming back. Um, and in, please check the description box below for any and all information that you need. Um, personal readings, decks on music, I mean, ton of stuff there, a lot of links. Please do go check that out. And before we get started, just a quick shout out to all my new subscribers. Thank you, thank you. Those who have reached out for personal readings, thank you so much. And those who have blessed me in an energy exchange, such as a tip or donation to the channel, is very much appreciated. So thank you, thank you for your support and your um, hospitality. It really means a lot to me. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, Scorpio, second half of August general reading. I hope everybody's doing well. Almost done summer, one more month if you live in uh, the States or this part of the world. If not, then I guess you have one more month of winter, depending where you are. All right, Scorpio. This is a zodiac oracle, so we could get a sign, element, or planet energy. We'll see how this plays in your reading. This is a general reading, but if you can fit it into a um, romance situation, love situation, then please feel free to do that, but I will read it in a general uh, fashion, so please keep that in mind. If you don't resonate with what comes out here, this is sort of like a little extra bonus. That is totally fine. Rest of the reading may be for you. If you clicked on it, then there's probably something in here for you. Okay, so we have air. So you could have uh, air in your chart. This is Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. You could have uh, air sign around you in some way, a uh, family, friend, coworker, you know, whoever, you know, could be spouse or, you know, a romantic partner, but this is a general reading. So however that works for you, maybe someone has air in their chart or it could just be the energy of air. It's everything to do with the mind, ideas, thought, uh, communication, education, um, truth, clarity, and that kind of energy. So we'll see how that plays into your reading. All right, air is the number seven which is a very divine spiritual number. So you could be coming you know, with the mind there, spiritually enlightened in some way also. Because that everything with the mind, so that could include becoming enlightened about something in some way, seeing something with truth and clarity. All right, so let's see. All the decks listed below, they have been free shuffle cut, meditate on off camera. There will be a little extra shuffling on camera, so please be patient with that. So let's see what your energy is like the second half of August for this general reading for Scorpio. What is their energy like? What is the message they need? Okay, we have let go. Sorry about the glare, there we go. Once you let go of the outcome, you'll be able to release all the emotional constraints that have held you back in the past. Trust in the higher good and guidance of spirit as we have only your best intentions at heart and we'll do everything in our power to protect you. Wow. So I had said here, maybe becoming spiritually enlightened about something or just enlightened about something in general and seeing the truth and clarity of a situation and knowing the best thing for you to do is to let go and detach from the situation, whatever it is from you. For you, if it's not serving you, for your highest good you don't see you're not seeing any growth expansion in the situation um, maybe time to let go of that it could be anything it could be a job it could be you know a friendship or I uh, know maybe just an energy between you and another person if it's been in a negative space maybe it's time to let go of resentment and things like that and rebuild the relationship however that works for you so let's see what the bottom of the deck has to offer seek the power of spirit exists in all things everything is made up of energy and every single thing in your physical world contains a fragment of spirit including you we are all one with spirit and always will be connected to one another so it could be you know uh, a family member it could be you know a very very dear close friend but somebody you're connected with here and this is you know telling you to you know, connect with your higher self, your higher knowing, your got your intuition to spirit, seek and maybe find the answers from within. If it's something you feel you need to just let go of, if that's best for you, 
or it could be you know letting go of any negative energy or if you've been detached from somebody maybe now is the time to let go of that energy and go seek this person because now this one to stay on the table we have give back today is a day to cast aside normal routines and make your main purpose to serve it is about giving back without any thoughts or expectation of getting anything in return reach out and touch other people's spirits as it's highly likely that someone really needs it today wow so I'm I'm really thinking like if there's a person a friend a family member that you let go of a very long time ago whatever happened between the two of you now I think is a time here with the air energy of very open honest truthful communication and letting go of anything that was not serving this connection uh, whatever detached the two of you you know giving back reaching out to this person seeking out this person and maybe they really need to get back in touch with you maybe they're hoping for that or it could be vice versa however that um, plays out for you let's see if I can get those both in there okay so let's see let's see what's going on with you Scorpio What's going on with you, Scorpio? I'm getting an energy of like being detached from either a very, very close friend or a family member. Very long time. There's been no communication. You kind of let go of each other, but now, you know, now I feel like is the time to maybe you're thinking about one another. And maybe now is the time to reconnect and rebuild and let go of all that negative energy. All right I feel like you're still connected to this person either spiritually or you know they still have a little piece of your heart if it was you know a long-lost family member or a long-lost very close friend something of that nature or maybe even a co-worker maybe you know you left a job and you really miss this one co-worker and you haven't like talked to them in years maybe it's time to get back in touch however that plays out for you so what's going on Wow, so we have the Hierophant, the High Priest, Taurus energy here. I do feel like this is someone um, you're still kind of spiritually connected to, and I had said that because the High Priest is about, you know, faith, spirituality, commitment, um, can be marriage, but I'm just feeling like maybe it's somebody you used to go to church with and you stopped going to church and really miss this person and maybe because you stopped going they kind of let go of the friendship i mean it could be any kind of situation here where i feel like you're still thinking about them you, you're still spiritually connected to them in some way but this is you know doing what's moral just and right so if you feel like you know this is about values and integrity so if you feel like the best thing to do here is to reach out for that person I'd say follow follow your gut your intuition and just have faith everything will be fine I mean this could be somebody you were married to also maybe or just a commitment with and maybe this is separation right now but maybe it's a coming back together I feel like it's a separation and a coming back together of some kind all right, so let's see what other energy is around you, Scorpio. So we have the Two of Cups. Wow. Spirit clarifying here, Two of Cups and the Five of Cups. So other energy around you is, you know, this is two people still spiritually connected. You know, two people coming together in unity of some kind. Peace, happiness, forgiveness, Five of Cups, sadness, loneliness, hurt. So I feel like the energy here is... Um, sadness and hurt and loneliness of the disconnect between two people that were once so connected together either in friendship or whatever here wow and just trust and have faith that you can come back together and unite again with this person in some way so let's see what your actual situation is now so we have the seven of swords Wow, a lot of air energy here. Here's with the air. The Eight of Swords and the Page of Wands. Wow, so air energy here with the Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Wands now with Fire, uh, Leo, Sag, Aries. So Seven of Swords, you know, self-deceit, sneaky ways, or something of that nature. I'm not getting like a negative energy here. Um, 
maybe just an energy of like disillusion in yourself to the situation that maybe this person, you know, won't forgive you. You know, not having faith that this person will have forgiveness in the situation or, want, or will want to reconnect. But I do see sadness and loneliness because two people want to reconnect and come back together. So I think you need, you know, here, feel, I'm feeling like uh, self-deceit in some way. Like not seeing clearly, you know, the moon being illusion to yourself and telling yourself all these things that aren't really true. It's like self-deceivement in some way. Because you have the Eight of Swords with it. So seven, eight of swords. Wow. So again, mental entrapment. I feel like you're stuck in your own head, stuck in your own mind about all these self-deceiving thoughts in your head about this connection. Like, you know, we, this reconnect won't happen. You know, our friendship, I think you're thinking it's gone forever or whatever kind of connection it is here. I'm really thinking you need to let go of all this negative thinking and all this entrapment in your mind. Just let go, let go of it all. Have faith and just seek out this person and they will reciprocate and they will give back. You see the two hands coming together in unity as with the two of cups with forgiveness and healing. Wow, peace, harmony. Because then you have the page of wands. So this is the communication. Being very excited and um, I don't want to say passionate, like like passionate, exciting communication, like, you know, oh, I'm sorry, I haven't, we've been disconnected for so long, you know, being very excited about it. So this, you know, an offer, like, can we meet up? Can we talk? Can we work things out? You know, that kind of energy. So I see the energy of wanting to do that, wanting to reach out, you know, feeling excited to reach out, to reconnect, to talk communication but there's mental entrapment here and having all these thoughts in your head that are just things that are just holding you back so let's see what your advice is Scorpio in this situation the king of swords and the ten of cups wow <laughs> air and just spirit just confirming look at all this air energy here Wow. So your advice is here is just to cut out all this negative thinking. Take this sword here. Cut out all this bullshit in your head. Just overcome that. Stand in truth and clarity. Truthful, open, honest communication. Stand your ground. Be blunt. I mean, not in a nasty way. But, you know, just standing in your truth. Honesty here. Standing up for yourself. Even this person and saying, hey, you know, communicating that let's let's reconnect let's you know reconnect our connection <laughs> and you will have the ten of cups here which is happiness joy fulfillment in every single way so i do see if you reach out here with truth and honesty you will have the ten of cups again with this person very loving caring giving kind of energy and joy happiness and fulfillment again in this connection and reconnecting Wow, that's your advice. You see this king overcoming all this negative mental entrapment in your head. Overcoming that and just reaching out with truth and honesty. And bringing back with this message the Ten of Cups and this connection. So let's see what the outcome could be for you. Four of Cups. So, you know the Four of Cups energy here. It's kind of an energy of feeling blah and bored. Um, I don't know why that's here, but I don't know, let's get one more with it to see Ace of Pentacles. So I just think you know the Four of Cups speaks of you know an offer, but not really sure. Extending out an offer, but feeling kind of I don't know. Should I? Shouldn't I? Um, or worried about an offer coming in or not accepting any offers or not giving any offers, whatever. So you may be in that energy as the outcome. I'm not really sure. It's like, this is your advice, but you're still not sure whether or not to reach out with the Four of Cups energy. But with the Ace of Pentacles energy, here's the brand new beginning. 
a more stabilized uh, reconnection here. Stability, growth, expansion, laying down a whole new foundation and building this relationship again for long term. Or you need to think about how you want to approach this person very slowly. Think very practically about your approach. Take a very slow, practical approach in reconnecting with this person. But I mean, your advice is here uh, to get your happiness, joy, fulfillment in this connection is you need to reach out with truth and clarity, probably very slowly, and really think about this offer reaching out. Okay, so let's get more clarity here. So we have the Six of Pentacles. So this is things balancing out Earth energy here with the Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. So this is energies balancing out. That's always, you know, people talk about the Six of Pentacles being breadcrumbing or things not being uh, fair, but I don't take it that way, depending on the situation. Maybe things weren't fair in the past in this connection for some reason, but now I do see things balancing out and things uh, being equal. So I think there will be equal reciprocation in this uh, reconnect. Stability here, growth, expansion long-term again with the pentacles slow, slowly. Ten of Wands. So, yep, yeah, burden. So I think this is burdening you, like fire energy here, like really wanting to um, have closure with this, either just getting closure or reconnect you know getting closure and then reconnecting and like rebuilding and I think this is like really weighing heavily on your mind and you need to lay down these burdens and just step forward with truth and clarity in this reconnect whatever it is for you and now you have ten of pentacles I had just said that long-term building very slow steady gradual growth here long-term growth stability expansion in this connection very sturdy it's I think it'll be stronger than it was before if it's a friendship if it's reconnecting with a family member or maybe you took time off work you know and uh, now you're going back and you're like starting over it's gonna be better than it was before it could be a relationship whatever here I feel like the reconnect is gonna be stronger than it was before so now we have the four of swords so again you know this is an air energy again a lot of swords here so definitely clarifying the air energy of you know really thinking about uh, this and healing from it healing energy here rest recuperation retreating so I definitely feel like there's been a disconnect of some type here that maybe you either had to heal from think about contemplate about spend time alone from in this situation only you know your situation what happened I'm not getting like what the situation is here I'm just getting a strong um, energy of reconnecting and letting go of things from the past any regrets or any negative energy just letting it go reconnecting and having equal reciprocation and rebuilding this connection and it'll be stronger and better than it was before it could be any kind of situation here Okay, it could even be your faith. Maybe you've changed uh, your religion, your faith, your spirituality, and now you're even more uh, grounded and stronger spiritually in your faith than before. I mean, it could be anything. Death. So, yeah, I do feel like, and that's your energy again, Scorpio. I had got this in your love reading. Death came out too. So needing to end whatever's not serving here and rebuilding and transforming this so ending old ways ending things not serving this connection and rebuilding it and transforming it into something better a new beginning as with the ace of pentacles stronger and better than before six of cups so i mean this could be you know a long-term childhood friendship um family member here um even maybe a child maybe one of your children you've been disconnected to from a very long time this is past memories things of the past long-term relationships here so I definitely feel like it's someone you've known for a very very long time or since your childhood could be anybody three of Pentacles energy here so you know working together and rebuilding this connection teamwork collaboration compromise 
working together. So let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. Five of Wands. So yeah, fire. So maybe there was a fight, uh, conflict here uh, or something. And that's what kind of made this disconnect. Some kind of fight or argument or conflict. But now here's Star. So healing energy. So having faith, hope, and optimism. Healing uh, energy here. Enlightenment. I think this is divinely guided friendship or whatever here. Divine is trying to guide you, heal you and tell you it's time to balance out the scales here, balance out your energy, and time to get your wish fulfillment dream come true of reconnecting with this person. King of Cups, there you are. Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. So, you know, being in tune, in touch with your emotions, how you truly feel, having peace, harmony, forgiveness, kind of energy in the situation. Three, one. So, you know, fire energy. So maybe you're waiting you know, maybe you keep putting it off, putting it off. Like, I want to do this. I want to reconnect. I want to heal. Start over. Start fresh. Rebuild. But you keep putting it off with the Three of Wands energy. Just waiting and waiting and waiting and not really taking action. But now here's, you know, the Knight of Cups. So that's your energy taking that action. Coming forward with an apology or terms of endearment or forgiving energy. Very peaceful, harmonious energy and coming forward with that energy as with the king of swords with truth and clarity and then there you go you have ace of cups and the ace of pentacles so rebuilding the love between you two the peace the harmony the forgiveness um again it could be any kind of situation love friendship family and there you go sun leo energy happiness joy success this is about family friends growth expansion enlightenment uh, success and victory. So yeah, there could have been a tower moment, Aries. That was the conflict here with the five of wands, some kind of fight, argument, breakdown, a collapse of this um, connection of some kind, some kind of tower moment. So tower moment, but can be overcome with the sun energy. Brand new beginning, having peace, harmony, joy, fulfillment, love again in this connection. Coming forward with the peace, harmony, apologies, forgiveness. You know, a need to wait, a need to stop waiting here and just come forward in your King of Cups energy. And just heal and mend the situation. Scorpio. Wow. All right. So let's get some guidance for you guidance for you and I'm getting fall energy autumn energy here in this card so if something happened in happened during the fall season or maybe it'll be a reconnect um, during the fall season coming up I don't know we'll see so let's get some extra guidance for you messages for you Scorpio end of August general reading all right that one wanted to stick in my hand Financial healing, yellow lily. Your money struggles are a thing of the past. Be open to all avenues to receiving. And we have give back here. And you'll be provided for in every way. So, I mean, for some of you, it could have been um, maybe you were laid off. Maybe you lost your job. And maybe this is um, either going back to that job or maybe starting a new career. But I'm getting a reconnect. That's strongly what I'm getting. So maybe if you've been laid off, if you lost your, the job, maybe now you're like getting the job back or something and there's like a reconnect and maybe the, um, wherever you worked, maybe there's been a whole transformation of um, whatever it was and now it's better than before because you do have death here. So whatever that means for you or if you are having financial struggles for some reason, this is telling you this is kind of a separate message that things will get better. All right, so let's see if there's any other messages. I feel like I need another one because I feel like that's a separate message um, there. Well, there you go, new beginnings. Take this as an opportunity to rise from the ashes stronger and more determined. So a new beginning in this connection and it will rise above the ashes and it'll be stronger than it was before. Be a whole new beginning and reconnect in this relationship. 
so let's see what's on the bottom of the deck here. We have emotional healing. Wow. <laughs> it is safe for you to let go, let go, wow, of old emotional pain, conflict here. Tower moment we had under here. Let go of old emotional pain. By doing so, you allow your heart to mend. And we have the star here of mending your heart. Wow. And, you know, the King of Cups is all about feelings and emotions and love in your heart. So, yep, healing your heart in this connection, new beginning in this connection. What do we have under that? Patience. Your prayers have been heard and they are being answered. So just having patience in this reconnect, taking it very slow. So the pentacle energy here and rebuilding it will be better than it was before, stronger than it was before. Yep. Wow. Scorpio. So I do see things uh, working out. Um, you may, may may have to make the first step, you know, instead of putting it off, waiting, waiting, waiting. I see that if you come out of your mental conflict and thoughts in your head, come forward, you know, with this new communication. You're saying, hey, can we reconnect here? Work it out. Truth, clarity. Ten of Cups here. Ace of Pentacles. We have the Ace of Cups under here. So... Things, I think, be stronger, better than they were before in this reconnect, whatever it is for you. Getting a strong sense of like either a family member or a friendship or something like that. For you, it could be a reconnect with an old career you had in the past. And it's been like a whole revamp of the company. And it's better than it was before. Could even be, you know, a relationship too. And it's stronger and better now than it was before. So how about that plays out for you? All right, Scorpio, if this resonated for you, please do like, share, comment. I love to read the comments. Subscribe. Hit the bell. You'll be notified when I post new readings. I do bi-weekly journal and love, so please don't miss out on that. And good luck to you in your situation here. Sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always, always say with my channel, and I do believe we have the sun here, as with the sun energy here, is to always, always shine your light.